the demon that lurks in the shadows of our society called addiction. This invisible force ensnares the unsuspecting, trapping them in a vortex from which escape seems impossible. If those afflicted had foreseen their plight, they surely would have steered clear. Yet here they are, ensnared in a battle they never chose. This demon addiction preys mercilessly on the vulnerable. It's a relentless tyrant, dominating their lives with an iron grip. I speak from a place of intimate knowledge, for this demon has been a constant companion in my own journey. I confess my life has been a series of addictions, from the mundane allure of crisps and chocolate bars to the captivating world of video games. This demon knows no bounds. It has led me down dark paths where I've caused pain to both myself and those I hold dear. In my blindness I dug a pit so deep that happiness and freedom seemed like distant memories. But let's be clear, those struggling with addiction aren't pursuing a life of despair. They're trapped in a relentless cycle, desperately seeking a way out from behaviors they despise yet find themselves helplessly repeating. It sure is no fun. Consider this. If we were to approach drug addiction with a lens of compassion rather than criminalization, imagine the transformation. Legalization, coupled with stringent regulation, could dismantle the underworld's grip, redirecting funds to rehabilitation and reducing crime. Yet we live in a world where natural remedies, which have shown promise in treating mental health issues, are deemed illegal. This isn't just a failure. It's a tragedy. The current state of affairs speaks volumes about the inefficacy of our drug laws. Despite stringent measures, drugs are more accessible than ever, pointing to a glaring disconnect in our approach. The gap between those governing and those governed is stark. Many policymakers are untouched by the realities that breed addiction, realities like growing up in neighborhoods where crime and addiction are the norm and aspirations are shaped by survival rather than dreams. Emerging from the clutches of addiction is nothing short of miraculous, yet the road to recovery is fraught with obstacles, with limited support, and a system that often punishes rather than heals. Let's not forget gambling, a vice cloaked in glamour by our media, yet silently claiming lives. The irony of our society's stance on gambling is bitter, promoting it while being fully aware of its destructive potential. In conclusion, if you know someone battling addiction, remember, it is an illness, one deserving of empathy and support. These individuals are more than their addiction. They are human beings with the potential for redemption and recovery. I stand before you as living proof that coming back from the brink is not just possible, it's a reality. Thank you.